Tonight on You Paid For It, a St. Louis Alder woman who has been one of the biggest critics of privatizing Lambert Airport says those who want it are trying to oust her from office. 20th Ward Alder woman Kara Spencer says a group supporting privatization now leading a recall petition to try to silence her. That is tonight's You Paid For It. St. Louis Alder woman Kara Spencer was stunned to find people collecting signatures to recall her at polling places in her ward this past election, and equally surprised when she learned who was leading the recall effort. There were teams of petition gatherers at all of the polling places in the 20th Ward uh, employing the same tactics that they used to gather signatures to put the issue of privatizing the airport uh, on the ballot, which is to say they were lying to people uh, in gathering signatures. And uh, that effort has continued with a door-to-door -door campaign that has gone on every day since. I was unable to reach a consultant leading the recall petition drive, but according to the Post-Dispatch, the company collecting the recall signatures said Spencer's opposition to airport privatization was one of the reasons they opposed her. They said they also didn't think she was doing a good job representing the ward. According to the Post, the company had been hired months ago to help gather signatures for airport privatization. More than enough signatures were gathered to put the question of privatizing Lambert to voters on the November ballot. Now, it seems there's apparently a target on Alderwoman Spencer's back. What's your reaction to this? I think this is a clear attempt at intimidating the lawmakers of the city of St. Louis into following the uh, uh, desired outcomes of a billionaire. This is an incredibly dangerous precedent to set where our lawmakers have to fear retribution, falsehoods, and deceitful manners of, um, of, of intimidation. No other airport in the continental United States is privatized. St. Louis's top fiscal officer, Comptroller Darlene Green, has opposed privatization from the start, saying it was not a good deal for taxpayers. If the measure passes at the polls, the airport would be turned over to a private firm for decades to run. Special interests would get a big payday. Right off the top, the consultants who put this initiative forward would get the first cut right off the top, $44 million of taxpayer money. This is public money that would go straight into the hands of those special interests, not to mention the special interests in, it, that have been leading the effort to privatize the airport to begin with. There's a lot at stake here. There's a lot of money on the table, um, and there's a lot of folks that would stand to gain uh, and make a significant amount of money off of this. Spencer, who's also a candidate for mayor, says that her opposition to privatizing Lambert May call. call to see if Spencer stays or goes. I'll, of course, keep you up on the Spencer recall effort and airport privatization. After all, you paid for it. And that